set standards so that our products will interoperate with products from other vendors. Okay? That there's an increasing requirement for, for interoperability because, because we're dealing in an increasingly complex world and no matter how hard we try or anyone else tries to say to you, you know, just, just use our stuff, it'll be fine, okay? You're going to reach out and touch something else. You're going to acquire a piece, of, a piece of technology from somebody else. You're going to want those things to interact, and that's why you want open standards, okay? The benefits of open standards have been talked about earlier today. They'll continue to be talked about. Here's, here's just a, like an a, a, a overview of, of, of some of the many. I, I think I'm, I'm preaching to the choir here. Some people would argue that open standards or standardization in general is a, a impediment to innovation. In fact, I would argue exactly the opposite. Open standards in, enhance innovation. They provide an environment in which innovation can occur. Okay? They, open standards are, are a, a process by which the smallest player can engage and can add their value. Open standards of, of avoid lock-in today that customers are much more comfortable acquiring a product that conforms to a standard because they like the, the feeling, the comfort, that if they get sufficiently displeased with their current provider, they can, they can move to somewhere else. Okay? That that while frankly it's our job as vendors to make sure they don't take that step, the fact is that, that conforming with a standard is something which helps all of us sell our products. Okay. Open standards reduce cost. I think I am standing here with, as, as a representative of a business that has, has exploited this to the ultimate degree. As many of you know, we have become serial acquirers, okay? And in that acquisition process, we have, we have acquired, what, 65 companies in 65 months. And how is it that we can take these, these, these products that have been independently developed without any anticipation that they would ever have to be munged together with the other products that are in the Oracle's product suite? How, could we, how can we do this? Well, one answer is to the degree that the products have been built to open standards, then it's those open standards that provide the linkages that allow us to integrate.